Hello. Uh, well, with this tutorial, uh, what I'm trying to show you is the easiest way to check geometries or models from 3D Max to Unreal 4.7. Um, what we have here is a, is a very simple example. Here we have a floor and here we have the walls. Want to call them walls? Okay, the things you have to have in your mind before to do the exportation process. The geometries they have to be meshes, not poly, not lines, meshes. Okay, so let's start with the floor. Something you have to do first is to check what they call the smoothing group. Uh, why? You, you need to clear what they call the smoothing group. Why? Because they give you errors in real one when you want to uh, create the light map. So how do you do that? You go to mesh, you go to polygon level, select everything, and you will see that if you go down, you see smoothing group. See this empty slot? It means that there are some kind of strange thing going on with these smoothing groups. So just click clear all. Right? Let's do the same for the wall. Polygon. Select all. Once again, we have those empty slots. Clear all. Right. Now, you have to prepare the second step. You have to prepare the geometry to have the necessary UV information for the light map channel. Basically, what we're going to do here is to tell to the geometry, okay, we're going to have one UV map channel for the texture or the material, and another one for the light map that Unreal is going to produce. How do we do that? Let's start here with the walls. Let's go and look for the Unwrap modifier there go to polygon select everything and open UV editor okay now you will see here I will maximize this you will see here that this is a mess right just in case select everything what you see in here perfect and what we do now is go to mapping flatten mapping and it will do the process automatically see the difference between this messy thing and what we're going to have now basically what you have here now is the um, uh, necessary UV map or UV channel for of all the geometry for Unreal in order to bake the light information or the light map um, so we did it, we close it, and now you have to move to map channel 2 before to export this, this geometry. Why? Once again, because map channel 1 is going to be for the light map and map channel 2 is for the texture or material you already have inside 3DX Max. You will see it better here with the floor example. Let's go once again, wrap, polygon, select everything, open UV editor, zoom out, just in case select everything again, mapping, flatten mapping, okay, and here we have our lovely coordinates for the light map channel so we close it and this is what I was talking a few moments ago uh, this the map channel 1 where my mouse is right there as you can see is a very large mapping uh, created for the light map or illumination or whatever inside the room if you move to the number 2 move then you will have your texture back so actually this geometry and this other geometry they have 
two map channels information the one for the um, light map and the one for the texture okay we are done inside 3dx max so i select both of this geometry and i will export by the way i'm using max 2014 export selected to my desktop i will delete this one youtube test okay these values are okay export now i open unreal i will minimize 3dx max and i will start a new project basically what we always do what we the new is uh, we always start with the first person template create project um, it's very important to work everything very organized inside 3dx max and also unreal wait a moment it's loading great so this is the template you can use to start practicing and learning I am just currently deleting some of the elements in the scene I'm going to close Max in order to make this process faster I delete those little boxes just select them and delete them I will leave the floor okay everything is gone now so something you have to consider in the importation process you will see it right now go to import let's look at for our here the model on fbx model open okay this part is very important because if you don't deactivate some options everything will get complicated uh, because of the uh, you, you will see um, right here okay let me move this a little bit to the right generate light map UVs do you want <coughs> that option activated no because we already solved it in 3dx max the, the map channel 1 and the map channel 2 so if you have this option activated you will have an extra UV map channel so we don't want that because we already solved it inside 3dx max so deactivate it and something else sorry uh, combine meshes do you want that no i don't want that because i want to work for each mesh as a single instance uh, in order to have single light maps etc etc so deactivate that option then import everything by the way my unreal a program is in Spanish but basically the, the options are basically the same import okay you, sh you see now that we don't have any error on the importation process which is very common when you start to play around with 3dx max and Unreal, because we did everything correct in 3dx max now I'm going to select both of them the floor and the walls and I'm going to drag and drop them into the scene together okay everything looks pretty nice perfect great so now the thing we should do is to uh, make some configurations on the light map setting for the walls and the floor so double click on the wall or the floor let's start with the walls here we have it okay press in this icon UV it will show you it will show you which is the correct UV channel that we need to use for the light map here 
Okay, let's press this. You will understand it better. Okay, what is this messy red lines and stuff like that? This is not the UV channel we create in 3DX Max. Let's go here, channel UV0. Let's click on channel UV1. Here it is. This is the one we create in 3DX Max with the Unwrap modifier. Great, so now that we are sure that the UV1 is the correct for the light map or the baked illumination, we tell to Unreal, okay, this is the channel UV, the number one, the one that I need for the light map. How we do that? Go under design adjustment or whatever the option is in your language and click here. Source light map index one. So basically you are telling that this lovely light uh, UV coordinates we have in 3D X Max is the one we are going to use. So apply changes and save. Let's do the same for the floor. Double click. Let's see the UV. Okay, once again, the UV0 is the one for the texture, so we don't need that one. We need the UV1, which is the floor we got in 3D X Max. See how it lovely it looks perfectly and it match as the mod the, the thing we got in 3D X Max. Once again, adjust of design, source light map index, press one. And apply changes. Save it. And now we have everything we need to calculate the global illumination. I'm going to shoot a previous because I don't want to um, to spend too much time with the with the calculation. Okay, this is basically what you have to do to import the geometries. There is some other options you have to consider which are the light map size because if you have a bigger light map, a larger light map, you will have um, a better quality um, a better calculation of the global illumination etc so but this test uh, this tutorial I'm doing right now is basically to show how to export from 3dx max to unreal why because I saw other tutorials on the internet and they were just spending I don't know like 20 minutes trying to explain you how to export a box a simple box and I was looking for tutorials where I can export uh, architecture basically and they were so complicated and I don't understand why they do it so complicated so basically with this tutorial you, you got it I mean uh, you can export everything I speak Spanish by the way so sorry if my English is not good enough Here it is. You need to improve the quality of the line map, but it will be the next tutorial. So basically what we have here is the correct line map applied on the correct um, channel. If you've been playing around before with Unreal and you get all the errors Unreal can shoot you, like uh, UV overlappings or tangents, no, well, forget about it. If you follow this tutorial step by step, you won't have any trouble with the line maps uh, or coordinates. Okay, well, that's it. Let's hope a new tutorial is coming.